grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Welcome to the first of what will probably be quite a few meditations, fireside chats, prayers or, or just information sharing. The object of the exercise is that we stay connected, you and I. That the people of St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church, the pastor and the leadership of this church, stay in contact with each other and still feel that their church home is here to kind of re-establish and maintain a sense of community even while we're facing difficult times. Today I wanted to just bring you up to speed on what's been going on around St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church over the past week or so. As you know, we've ended in-person worship and in its place we have live online worship services. Evening prayer will go out on a Wednesday evening at 7pm and on a Sunday, our Sunday worship service will be at 9am. They'll go out live on Facebook and on our church website, saklc.com forward slash live. And they'll also be archived so that if you miss the service or if you're one of those very strange people that want to see it again, uh, you'll be able to see it at your leisure. We have other ways of keeping in touch. Uh, and I beg of you, if you don't already subscribe to Connections, our electronic newsletter, please do so. Call the church office, go on our website, saklc.com, and sign up for Connections, our electronic newsletter. It's an incredible way of keeping in touch. It's a very easy way of keeping in touch. So please sign up for that as soon as you can and tell your friends, family, anyone you want to be connected to St. Armas Key Lutheran Church, tell them what's happening. Tell them to go online, sign up for connections and stay in contact. Talking about staying in contact, over the next few days, every member of St. Armand's Key will receive a phone call from a team of volunteers. You'll receive a phone call asking how you are uh, whether you would appreciate a call from me as your pastor, or if there's anything we can do to help, within reason, of course. And then we have another team of volunteers that are ready to respond to your needs. I'm one of them, but I'm by no means alone. There's a whole team ready to help in any way that we reasonably can, if you need us. Another team that's ready to help are the retired pastors at St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church both those who've served here and those who've retired to here. We stay in touch with each other. We are a clergy team. We are brothers in Christ. And I bring you their greetings today also. We're going to stay working together as a team so that this community of faith will always have a pastor, whether I get sick or whether I need help. There's a team here and we're ready to work together. I wanted you to know that, and they wanted you to know that. In the office, we're down to a skeleton staff. All of our vo uh, office volunteers are working from home. And so in the building during the week, I'm here, Michael's here, Bridget is here, each of us working in our own offices for the safety of each other. But if you call the church, the phone will be answered. The church is also unlocked during the week, so if you want to come in to pray, you can. And our custodian is still disinfecting everything around the church. Door handles, pews, everything for your safety. So that when you come here, you are safe. So come here to pray if you want to come here to pray. Just pop in. But I am going to ask you to make an appointment if you would like to receive Holy Communion. Or be in conversation with me as your pastor. Or receive the rite of confession. The reason we're asking for appointments is that I don't want you to come here and discover that I've been called out on an emergency. We also want to make an appointment so that it's available for individuals or couples or families because due to health concerns and following the device of CDC, we're trying to keep groups of people at SACOC down to a maximum of 10. So call, make an appointment and know that the sacrament is here for you. Your pastor is here for you. And this place of prayer and contemplation is here for you. The challenge we face now is how are we going to be church 
together in a way that we never have been before, in a new way, in a challenging way, but in a way that God in Christ Jesus is walking alongside us and calling us into a future that is his. How are we going to be church in this place together in a new way? Know that I'm holding you in prayer. I beg of you to hold each other in prayer. And until I see you again, may God walk with you and may God bless you. Amen.